Good morning, Lesbian Central. It's Saturday morning, bright and early, and you're here with Haley. I look like a complete ghost. I mean, I am pale, but it's also 7.30 in the morning here in Toronto on Saturday, and it's, there's no natural light. You get Casper Haley. Ooh, that's the noise that Casper makes, right? Let's get into the topic then. So it's our dating deal breakers. So first of all, I just want to start this off with saying that I am 23 turning 24 pretty soon. Um, I'm kind of at that stage, or not that stage, that point in my life where I'm not just casually dating anymore. I don't wanna freak my girlfriend out by saying all this stuff. I'm just saying that like, the stuff that I look for now in a partner is completely different or very different than the stuff that I looked for in a partner, let's say in high school or in university even. I'm not just looking for someone to pass the time with right now. My first one is I wouldn't seriously date someone who didn't want children in the future because I just feel like that it's an inevitable issue and problem. I definitely want kids for sure. I know that for a fact. I want children at some point in my life. I don't see the point in dating someone who doesn't, who is, who is just like me but on the opposite end of the spectrum and completely does not want children. Um, you should never have to try and talk someone into that or try and change someone. I also probably wouldn't date someone who didn't want to get married, who is against marriage. You know what? I want to get married. I'm sorry that some people think that it's just some silly piece of paper, some certificate saying that, oh yeah, you're bound together for life, and then the divorce rate of rah, 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 rah. Okay, I know, I come from a divorced family. It doesn't make me not want to get married. I want to get married, I want to have a wedding. Yeah, I do. What else is a, is a deal breaker for me? Someone who doesn't know where they're going in life. I'm not necessarily saying that they're concrete and they have a job and they're making so much money and they know that they have like a timeline for their life and everything, but I mean, someone who doesn't know what they'd like out of the future and what they would like out of their life, not just like a passive character in their life. They don't just let life happen to them. They go out and they get what they want and they take life by the reins. This piece, I'm just like, this is like a wing. Fly, honey, fly. What else is a deal breaker for me? Um, someone who d does hard drugs or really just does drugs in general on a regular basis. I'm over it. Um, I'm sorry. It's not something that I do with my time normally. And I don't want to date someone who makes that a significant part of their life, whether it be recreational drugs or not. Just not someone I want, not something I want from a partner. Without delving too much into my personal life and all the nitty gritties of my childhood, I grew up around that. Um, and I grew up with a wonderful mother who put up with shit that she shouldn't have. And I don't wanna put myself in that, in that um, situation or for a situation that could possibly turn into something like that. It's just no, not for me. So someone that places drugs and alcohol as very high priority in their life. That's not to say that I don't want to be with someone who enjoys going out and having a few drinks and having fun. Hey, I do that too. I just don't want someone who does that uh, every single night. And they base their life around that social aspect. That's my list of deal breakers and such gals and girls and any in-betweens and which and not and what and let me know what your uh deal breakers are for dating and being in a relationship let me know that down in the comments i love to read your guys' comments i try my best to respond to most people that comment on my videos especially if they're asking a question as long as it's not about my sex life because we get enough of those on tumblr already have a great weekend, and I will probably see you guys on Monday. Today's Saturday, I'll see you on Monday. Yay, you get to see me more often. Uh, bye, guys.